This is a potentially very serious public health threat. The coronavirus outbreak grows rapidly in China. Authorities there are now reporting more than 100 deaths and more than 4,500 cases. It's not widely spreading outside of China, um, but again, we have to be prepared for in case it would. Breaking news, the first death from coronavirus here in the United States. A man in his 50s dying from COVID-19 infection in Washington state. Unfortunately, one person passed away overnight. This brings the total number of Americans diagnosed with COVID-19 to at least 69. There's a possibility that sometime today we'll do a quarantine. I don't know how that could be legally enforceable. Citing a survey that around 90% of their cities don't have enough masks, test kits, and other personal protective equipment. More than 500 members of the NYPD have tested positive. Today, the first officer to die from the virus, Detective Cedric Dixon. The mayor is warning that the month of April will be much tougher than March. Over 100 million people are now in some form of lockdown. U.S. deals with the most cases of coronavirus worldwide. President Trump now says he's ordering General Motors to manufacture those much-needed ventilators. Temporary morgues have been established to help relieve the pressure on hospitals. You pick the 26,000 people who are going to die because you only sent 400 ventilators. And here is a sign of the times, Pope Francis praying alone. New York, where cases have soared past 44,000. In Louisiana, another major outbreak into a 3,000-bed hospital. As the number of cases in the U.S. jumped again overnight. Now there's a statewide ban on vacation rentals. The potential shortage of masks to protect them. Some people are now taking matters into their State own hands. State of New hand. York now with the grim distinction of being the epicenter of the crisis in the United States. Friday night, all across the city, a show of appreciation for those on the front lines. As doctors continue to warn, the system's overwhelmed and scramble to build makeshift morgues and field hospitals. But the more immediate task is saving lives and bracing for the surge of patients that will test America's healthcare system to the very limit. Robert Moore, News at 10, Washington.